Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 141. And today we are going to continue learning about Drupal Commerce. And we are going to go into detail on how you can rearrange the product display page. As always I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can find me on Google Plus and you can sign up for the Code Karate newsletter and learn about how you can support Code Karate. Let's go ahead and get started. If you remember where we left off last time, we have a working product page. Depending on your selections, different images of course show up and the prices will change. But what we really want to do is look at how we can actually rearrange this product page to make it a little more at least more closely resemble how we want the product page to end up looking and how we're gonna do that is we can start by coming into the product display content type that we created and go into manage display and as you can see here there are a bunch of fields that are listed and this kind of controls how how the actual page is output so what we can do is we can start by moving the product image up to the top and we'll move the add to cart form right below that and we can also put the product price right before the add to cart form and we'll go ahead and move these product hat size, color, and shirt size fields to the hidden section. Now if we close this, you'll see that now the image shows up, followed by the price, followed by the add to cart form, and the details section at the very bottom. One thing you will notice though, as we select different images, or different attributes, the image size actually changes. This is because the images we uploaded aren't, weren't necessarily the exact size that we wanted them to be. So we can go ahead and we can actually set an image style to make this a specific size or a set width, height, or whatever we want to do. And we can do that. Well, you may first initially think come into content type, product display, manage display and come into the image but you'll notice there's a little piece of text right here that says if you want to modify the settings for this field you need to do that on the product type manage display configuration page so we're going to go ahead and click on that we're going to come into hats we actually need to go to manage display on the hats product type now that we're in here we can see that there's our image field here inside the manage display tab and you can select something else so instead of original image we can show for instance the medium sized image if we save that click save there now you can see the image is much smaller now when we select other images they're all using this medium image image style. If we want to change how that image style looks or create a new image style simply come to configuration media image styles you can see there's the medium large and thumbnail so we could see the medium is always going to scale to 220 by 220. We could create our own just by selecting add style we could create one and then come into our product type manage display and select our new image style there. You will notice that if we go to our shirt product it's showing the big image again. This is because we only set the actual manage display on the hats product type. We need to do the same thing of course for the shirts. So we come into manage display for the shirts product type come into image and we'll select the medium image here as well update and save 
now once we refresh you'll see that it's now using this medium image style and so the shirts are much closer in size because they're all using that same image style so now that we have this product display looking pretty close to what we want we could of course use some CSS to float or position this add to cart form over on the right or we could put the image on the right and the add to cart form on the left however we wanted to structure this page some other things we may want to do is hide this actual label here and that's going to be done of course on the product type again we'll come into manage display look for image and under the label section we'll go ahead and select hidden save it and we'll come and do the same thing on shirts select hidden for the label now when we come back that image label is gone we'll also come into product display and because we actually I want to hide this label right here because this is on the actual product display itself we're going to actually have to come to content types product display manage display and for the product label we'll go ahead and change that to hidden you can always go to the product display and go to manage display here and it'll tell you for instance on the image it's controlled by the settings on the product type for image and price but of course the product is not so you can always kinda come here to see where that manage display whether it's on the product type or the content type if you're not sure when you're just getting started so now you'll notice that product label is gone so it's looking closer to what we want and there's, there's really not much else we're gonna do right now you can use CSS to style or theme this page however you want if you need something a little more complex a layout that you want to control without necessarily having to use CSS for positioning you could use something like panels to control the layout of the page and that's something we may go over in a future episode but probably not something we'll get to for a while but you can of course take a look at that in advance if you need to change the layout of this page and you don't want to use CSS for positioning so that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. We'll be back again next time, and we'll probably do a few more episodes on Drupal Commerce before we're trying to jump into a few other things as well. So until next time, we'll see you later.